Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cassiotis on the MyZuma channel. And today we are going to have a look at the results for our contest, which was a building contest, actually the first uh, in this channel. I must say that the results were, were really awesome. And yeah, I believe you were going to be surprised and very pleased, just like I was. Uh, the guys were really awesome. And well, for sure I'm going to make more of those in the future. And well, let's just go to it guys. Maldibos is our first participant here. Uh, but by the way, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing his name correctly. So he left me a message here, read me. So let's take a look at it. <laughs> if I didn't drop it to the void, I'm sure. I'm sure I didn't. All right. So he says, I am Maldibo and I'm not very good making the outside of houses. So this is the best I've done. This is an efficient house with little farms and all stuff that a house needs. The grass under the home isn't part of the build. All right. So let's put it back, uh, switch back into creative mode so we can fly around and check out what he made for us. Yeah, so by the way, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to forgive some violations because I was not uh, clear about uh, everything around, like this would be a violation to fill this floor, but yeah, it's not a big deal, so let's just proceed. The first thing that I noticed here was the use of uh, stained clay, yeah, which uh, goes really well with this border here. He made a really nice use of uh, netherrack ore and netherrack with the walls here. Also, he makes good use of glass with uh, diamond ore. It, it looks really great and I admire very much uh, people who can use glass blocks for a building because they are not easy. You have to be able to deal with the lighting situation because if you don't put light, mobs can spawn and if you put too much, the ice will melt. So you gotta be a pro, really pro to do ice like he did. Um, I don't like very much the ceiling, I think that it, there is no definition to it. It's sort of a mix of things that <laughs> don't know their places. Uh, the windows are great. Uh, ice cubes, coal blocks, and those details up there. I really like it. It's a very small build. And that's why I have to say that some some of the rules uh, changed. Not, not actually changed, were defined in uh, in a different way, like uh, I told you guys that I could use a mod to calculate the number of ugly blocks here so we can score you guys, but actually I was talking to other friends, other YouTubers and we don't think that this is fair at all. Also uh, calculating the relative quantities is not good for a, a couple of reasons, so the f uh, uh, we are going to use the final cr criteria, which is aesthetics. Right, so let's go inside and check out what's there. And um, before that, let me point out that I I missed this block, guys. The note block is something that I I I had really had to include. But well, let's go, let's go. Well, first awesome thing here. Uh, the 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 mood here is really cozy, and when you walk this carpet, you will see some particle effects because he added uh, redstone blocks underneath here, which is a genius idea. This cat <laughs> really goes with the house, <laughs> I don't know how to express it, but it's really nice. I, I also like very much those sling tables, and they're functional, because the chests can be opened, even though. I love uh, fence posts, so the use of this block is very uh, nice to me. And here is the, the magic trick with the lighting. Yes, he has only one source of light in the middle, so the ice will not melt here. Uh, great. And as he, he wrote to us there, 
there is some small farms here yes and I like very much all this stuff really really good stuff I don't like this pattern in the floor he tried to use so sand here but didn't succeed very much in my opinion so let's check uh, what's up there I'm sorry I'm lagging sometimes because I'm trying to use these guys um, in my video settings now I have smooth lighting and uh, the maximum set I don't use it usually because it lags my videos but uh, I think that it's important to use it if I'm going to show a uh, video uh, about builders yeah all right uh, I tried not to spend too much time up here so those nether warts would not grow and be exactly as he left it when first uh, made it for example this one grew yeah Unfortunately, he used cauldrons here, yes, which I like very much, and vines, vines, and leaf blocks dropping, uh, which is awesome. Look, I think that he could have used a uh, nether rack here with the vines because I made one of these by mistake and it really looks great. It looks like a plant that I know, but I don't know how to translate, translate it into English, so never mind. The bed placement is a little weird, but I do like the lighting here and how he combines those blocks. Magenta stained clay, he also uses another block here. I don't know if you noticed. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm at the opposite side. This, those blocks here. I thought at first that those were shadows, but they are not. They are actually light blue stained clay. Um, Guys, if I am missing uh, any details, uh, if you see in the video any details that I am missing, please let me know. As you know, I'm more of a redstoneer, not much of a builder, but I'm trying to do my best here for you guys. So, this is uh, Maldibus project, so, and let's go and check out one more. Jojo Josh, yeah, he sent me a video response, and this is his building by the way guys uh, if you want to send me video responses uh, with your buildings even uh, after the challenge uh, feel free to do so I encourage this yes so let's start uh, he basically used four, four or five types of blocks in his building uh, charcoal blocks which I like very much uh, snow uh, leaves and and stone it will see in the inside i like very much this ceiling idea it goes really well here for this uh, two white stripe here but it doesn't go really well for this bigger area it feels like a cold war russian building from the past i don't know I'm not sure and he tries to use some hidden lighting as well Kerala's style uh, if i know better if i don't know better so the use of end stone here uh, is really great i like what i see very much uh, maybe he was trying to make some sort of commercial building i don't know because he have <laughs> this guy he here the the villager paper trading those uh th this staircase could use could have used a better lighting yeah but uh, this stripe of um, leaves uh, with glowstone blocks underneath is absolutely awesome I like it very much as well as this one and here uh, is the main room with a double bed I don't like leaves here and here it just don't work very well and a little storage here all the chests are empty checked and here we have this little balcony uh, also let me check here there were no violations concerning the size of the place but uh, guys uh, there is one detail here he uh, it was uh, of course my fault uh, let me try to find it where is there is a place where we can uh, here actually see what was inside the place this uh, probably got in the way and he didn't remove those blocks uh, it was allowed he was allowed to remove those blocks only those blocks were not allowed to be removed yes but I know that I wasn't clear enough about this uh, when I posted the, the challenge so I'm sorry Josh um, this of course uh, 
Of course, I am the only person in the world that is able to get lost in a 3rd by 3rd area. How can I do that? Is it possible? It's a proof of concept. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is it for Jojo Josh's video, uh, <laughs> video uh, design. And let's check another one. Time to check out Thales CFM. Um, his team was uh, winter hot cold outside and hot inside and as you will see he was very successful in doing that as you can see here from the outside it really looks uh, he really uses like I don't know if in English you say that cold colors like blue dark green or not not that we have we have those here but it has a cold mood outside here I like the transitions he made here up to that tower and he uses uh, obsidian here which is like a more shiny black and cool blocks here for a more opaque version of this I like this transition I just don't like very much this transition I would swap both those blocks here having a uh, netherrack ores here and normal netherrack here and let's see the inside and check uh, if his idea is really working and as you can see it is it really looks uh, warm here inside and <clears throat> let's see some details about it uh, he made a very good use of hardened clay in my opinion here um, which goes really really well surprisingly uh, with the redstone blocks and so sand this uh, this combination is absolutely awesome really really great and this uh, little lava fountain here adds to the place a lot so this is top of creativity I like this very very much also he was able to make good use of gold blocks which I think is very very challenging yeah, as you can see here and I, uh, I especially like this bit where he combined gold blocks and hay bales I thought that it was impossible but it really looks nice guys uh, yeah check it out and he made four types of corners like this I like very much the use of uh, bedrock here bedrock blocks and with a note block here giving yeah this uh, crazy look here <laughs> um, th those redstone blocks here are something that I really don't like they're not very good here uh, and stones fine yeah really nice I like this this place here small enchanting room and this here uh, for me is the best best place and gravel also doesn't look very well yeah but the rest of the place is really awesome we have water there uh, redstone blocks is uh, something possible to use I think that Thales was the only one to use it yeah this is yeah awesome project no violations concerning the size of the, the building so it's all good one of the best guys uh, I I think I told it before but my mind is kind of lagging today so maybe I'm, I'm repeating myself guys if you notice uh, some any details that I'm not able to notice please let me know uh, in the comments uh, so I can make a better review in, in the future uh, with those building challenges alright and let's go and check out another one GU MC or ZU um, sorry I don't know how to pronounce his name correctly as well but look at this <laughs> guys uh, this place is impressive all by itself but if I tell you guys now that this was sent to me within minutes after I posted the, the challenge uh, it's even more impressive guys it's really 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 awesome um, yeah there are some size violations here yeah, unfortunately but as I said it's probably my fault um, yeah, this, this is epic impressive at the first glance of course and let's check the inside starting here first thing I noticed are those torches I have never seen this kind of combination with nether rack and uh, ladders with fence posts and I like it very much the pattern he used here in the floor with cobblestone, so sand and gravel looks really really nice 
uh, it doesn't go really well with those orange uh, standard clay, uh, really. But overall, it's nice. And he also made sure to add a lot of details here with random stuff like hail base everywhere, uh, like a sink there and other kind of details this looks like a bed if i show you this other side it's like four beds i don't know if he, he was trying to make this and um, but <laughs> it is like it looks like to me and those things here i also don't know exactly what they are but i like it the chests are all empty i checked uh, this window i like it very much uh, he doesn't make use of symmetry everywhere let's uh, see it here for example he he tries to mix uh, stone cobblestone gravel in the walls which adds a lot to the mood of the place uh, and he he has like some some holes here can I go through this window all right and here like you have um, let me find it some small holes some big holes oh I lagged uh, Uh, ah, here, yeah. So that is really cool. Um, let me find other stuff that I mentioned. Yeah, here in, is this the main entrance? Yes. He added uh, gold ore, which is awesome. I also like very much the entrance using bedrock. Bedrock, by the way, I think it's a very difficult block to use. Very, very difficult. And let's check the second floor using this stair. Yeah. So the the impression I got here is really really awesome, guys. Like um, this uh, walkway with uh, bedrock border and uh, coal blocks in the center are absolutely awesome. I would never have thought of that uh, on my own. So it's really impressive. Uh, also, it's he used uh, damaged anvils here, very damaged anvils here, and I've uh, seen in the past people using uh, like stairs uh, to make those kind of details, but I never seen it with anvils before. So yeah, <laughs> real great creativity. Um, I don't like though those corners. Some of the corners, uh, to me, they feel like. Uh, some details are missing here I don't know what to add here exactly but I, I feel like something is missing and those tower torches or something they look really really great I will sure copy his design uh, without asking any permission <laughs> of course not uh, this those kind of details are really really great guys look at this I don't know if those fences will burn but I don't think so they are here for a while double torches here awesome simply awesome the gold blocks here look like uh, some it's it's some lit room I don't know there are some more ores here diamond blocks to add to the place I don't like the bedrock columns uh, though I like the the in the walkway way and in the entrance but those columns are not uh, particularly great in the eye and here are the small and big holes I was talking about before. Yes, the the big tree in the center uh, really makes it look more majestic, medieval aspect. I don't know if this is right. Yes, but yeah, I think that's it for for Zio. Really, really impressive. There is someone living here, I believe. There was a when I checked last time, there was a villager. Somewhere in a donkey. Mm. Could I cannot find them? But no, oh, is it on fire or is it a glitch? I think it's a glitch. All right, guys, uh, and let's check another one. And here we have Tails design. Yeah, he decided to make a sort of a modern house. Um, if you don't know me, uh, uh, I'm not a builder, I'm more like a redstone guy. And if I was a builder, a good builder, I would like to know this kind of style, modern houses. This is what I would like to know how to make. So I like very much his design, it's very clean and full of details in the inside, as you will see. 
Uh, this uh, gravel path uh, is very traditional, uh, many people use them, but what I have never seen before are those uh, pillars with cobblestone walls, made it cobblestone walls, I really like it. This little lake here uh, is full of diversity, which uh, it uh, make us a really rich place and something that really impressed me was this uh, raw hardened clay with um, uh, snow blocks and with ice and they actually look awesome together and I like very much this big window here also as I told you I think that using glass block uh, ice blocks I'm sorry is really impressive because you have to be able to control the light so that makes a good builder in my opinion also when I look at the tree that he made it yeah uh, I, I always feel like there's a block missing oh, I, I feel so bad like I have to put this block here doesn't it look better now I don't know <laughs> let me try not to mess with uh, the participants work right uh, this is star here I don't like this star I don't think that it goes well with the modern house but I do like what he made here he used trapdoors to add detail to the staircase which looks really really nice um, here we have a nice place as well it's he used those I don't know how what you call it like a beach chair uh, with some tea here and you can just chill out and look at the void uh, with a friend and <laughs> also this looks awesome guys right but if, if I see this kind of combination with this table here uh, yes and those kind of chairs I miss some sort of water I don't know maybe a lake or um, uh, pool I don't know also he uses uh, more than one type of tree more than one type of wood which really adds color and mood to the place great and let's check the inside yeah so the entrance is here also notice uh, that he uses those slim uh, windows here awesome work you will see that from the inside they are completely different and he makes it on using only two layers which I think I think is very impressive so yeah this is the inside those lights hanging here are awesome guys simply awesome uh, I, I don't like this too much because the, the, there is a lighting glitch here yeah but the overall idea is nice he could have filled this cauldron with water I think so I like this sofa I've never seen one of these before a sofa made out of uh, snow layers this carpet is also nice he noticed that there is a string here which is a very fine detail yes it's a simple carpet uh, sound system there and man who uses minecart with uh, chest inside never seen this before so well simply impressive um, sugar cane here adds a lot to the place and this is what I wanted to point out from the outside we have those slim uh, stripe uh, windows and from the inside we have a big window uh, I think that this is genius I like it very very much so let's go here the big window I go inside the star looks good here lighting is also nice very elegant single torch here guys it's a it's a chair <laughs> never seen this kind of chair made before and I thought that he used some sort of word editing but actually he didn't if we place uh, a door here we can place an item frame here it works and if we break it we have a floating uh, item frame it will break yeah and here is what looks like a laptop or maybe a laptop with the CPU here and the coffee mug here really nice really cozy place first time uh, I walked in this place I didn't have the smooth light uh, lighting turned on so check out what this looks like doesn't it look like a fan <laughs> I think it's nice and it adds those borders I know they are glitchy but they are nice yeah but uh, this was my first impression which was in my opinion really great but let's switch back on the default mode for showcasing his design 
the the main bed here is really large. I missed some details in this, those walls. For example, he could have added some item frames. I don't know with discs would look nice. Maybe I don't know. I'm not a builder. Um, and overall, uh, it this this is it. Uh, he he doesn't do any sort of exager exaggeration. Nothing here is too much. This is what I mean. Yeah, and overall this place is very impressive in the inside and outside and guys let's now go and check out one more KG games guys this is our final design and in my opinion the the best of all of our participants this guy is the champion of our challenge and there are a lot of, lots of reasons for that, you will see. I don't know if I am going to be able to describe uh, it, but it sure is impressive. He makes a very, very good use of the space around here with a lot of details. Also, he was the only one that sent me a map that was night by default. And this is a little of thinking out of the box, which is really, really cool. And let's start. Whoops, sorry guys, had to make a little cut here. We are back. So we have this little couch here yeah, where we can look at the stars, chill out a bit with our little lake. And here there's another cool place to be. This is not exactly a well <laughs> since the water comes from above. Yeah, but it looks nice. Uh, looks nice. I don't like those torches uh, though, but. Uh, Overall, it's a nice, very nice entrance. I like what he did with the cobblestone here. It's not too much, not too little. It's uh, it's just uh, perfect for the entrance with cobblestone. And also he here, you can notice a nice transition from the entrance to that place. And uh, he made uh, this little farm using uh, stone brick and nether brick. I'm sorry, and I like very much this block. He also mixed the the farm itself with jackal lanterns, and I think it's a very nice effect. Yes, we have the actual farm here, so this this place is uh, overall it's functional. You could actually live in a place like this. This pattern with the water looks really really great, guys. Don't you think? Yeah. So let's have a look at more stuff. We have a chest room here, and the chests are actually filled with stuff and name it yeah this is a huge work he have his kg here right the use of glass here is good yes and he starts to to show this the the pattern that we are going to see there up there in a moment he also included a small farm here and this this looks so so awesome guys the kind of wood that he uses uh, the transition that he made like this is like a uh, like a fantasy place what right or modern I don't know and then uh, all of a sudden we are in a farm <laughs> uh, this is one of the few uh, types of building that I know how to make like those pilers with fence uh, fence posts in the middle uh, it looks really nice and he included all types of animals here and uh, also he, he used the torches here um, you know it's under the stairs a place that should not be noticed uh, but he also made sure to, to include details here which is really impressive yeah shows a lot uh, he put armor <laughs> on in all the, the the horses which adds a little bit to the fantasy mood in this place uh, and let's go up and check out more stuff there up there and I don't like this stair particularly yeah this is one of the few things that I don't like in this place is this staircase just looks too much for me but I do like the wood here he used uh, fences uh, on the upper part and in the lower part uh, and this looks really nice yeah so this is the tower of the KG master and he have a little ro room here with two additional rooms let's go down here this is a library yeah can we maybe 
chicken, no. <laughs> uh, let me get rid of this. This library uh, looks awesome to me. He tried to make something similar to what we can find in Strongholds. And something that I have never uh, seen before are bookshelves with windows, little windows in the middle. Uh, I think that it looks really, really nice. I don't know if he included the bats on purpose or I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask him or if they spawned here. Uh, the cobwebs also make the place uh, really look nice, like a witch house, a witch's house. And those chests with uh, fence posts here, another fence post here, are awesome, simply awesome. So let's go back up and check the other room. So the other room is a potion room. Yeah. And more bats and cobwebs. He filled some of those uh, chests up here. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think it's really, really great. Uh, he makes like sort of a shape with the torches here, which is really nice. It looks like an altar. I don't know. Sort of a. Yeah, it really looks like a fantasy place, a witch's house. All in all. His beds here and his personal chest here with the KG. Also, he has details like those paintings here, like a painting is behind the cobweb. It's some really rich detail, only the, the finest builders can have this kind of vision to, to create those, those things out of nothing. I would never come up with ideas like that and have like let look let's have a look <laughs> I'm sorry guys in this corridor yes and then and then another overall look at the, the whole place it's awesome he he filled this area uh with awesomeness yeah the guy the the weird shape there everything looks so great that yeah I made him the champion of this this challenge I don't know if you guys agree with me yes but it really looks nice so thank you very much KG for sending me your map thanks everyone for sending me maps I'm sure going to make more of those challenges in the future I have never uh, made this before and it for sure uh, was worth it uh, unfortunately this time uh, I won't show you my map because I didn't have time to make it uh, as I told you in, a, in some videos before uh, I'm, I'm, make, I'm having too much work too much stuff to do lately so time is an issue right now so I'm sorry I could not go with you guys this time this is the first time I don't do my old, own challenge with you guys and it's not just because I suck at building believe me it was really a time issue uh, I hope you have enjoyed this little tour. Uh, please uh, make sure to to open the description for this video because there are links there uh, to show what those guys can do. Yeah, they are really good builders, so please check out their channels. And yeah, guys, that's it for now. Um, see you later. See you next challenge, maybe. Well, bye bye. And finally, with the results for our crafting station challenge, um, 